Hi everyone, my name is Jamie. I'm a 16 year old content creator with a passion for tech, photography and productivity. Today, I'll be reviewing the Kindle Paperwhite 4 after owning it for a month, giving you my honest thoughts on it and helping you to make a purchase decision. I'll firstly give you an upfront conclusion, talk about its tech specs, talk about the reader I was before getting the Kindle Paperwhite 4, the reading experience with the Kindle and how the Kindle has reduced the friction of reading. My upfront conclusion is that the Kindle Paperwhite 4 is a great purchase which has added a lot of value to my life. It's great for anyone who enjoys reading or is looking into getting into reading because it really reduces the friction of reading. It's a lot smaller and portable than normal books and it comes with many useful features like the built-in dictionary and the note taking which really augment your reading experience and allow you to read more books. You also have to think of the Kindle as a long-term investment. The books on the Kindle are often quite a lot cheaper and you can also obtain books for next to nothing online from online libraries or getting the books off the internet for free. So the Kindle will be able to pay itself off in not much time. In terms of the text bits of the Kindle Paperwhite 4, it costs about 130 USD but you can find it on Amazon Prime Day for 80 USD. It is also often on sale. It's got a 6 inch E inch display which doesn't emit blue light like on the screens of your phone and other devices. So it's great for reading with for long periods of time and does not cause eye strain and you can read it before bed without affecting your sleep. The Kindle is also very portable. It's about the same size as a normal paperback book but it's a lot thinner so you can carry it around pretty much anywhere you want to go with it. You can also bring it by the pool because this model is water resistant. The Kindle Paperwhite 4 also has the new feature of reading books through Audible which is pretty useful if you're wanting to read hands free or if you're preoccupied doing something like working out or doing the dishes. In terms of my reading before getting the Kindle Paperwhite 4, I wasn't that much of a reader. I'd read about one book a month on my iPad. However, I identified a couple of problems with reading with this method. Firstly, reading with an iPad is pretty distracting. When I was reading with it, I found myself pretty distracted by social media, Reddit and watching YouTube. And instead of reading, I just consume that content instead of reading hard books or books which I found a little bit boring at the time. So I wouldn't read that many books. The second problem I identified with reading with my iPad was that it emitted blue light and I found myself to feel eye strain after reading with it for a little while and I also found it to affect my sleep especially because I like to read before going to bed. The third problem which I found with reading with my iPad was that it isn't that portable. With its case and Apple Pencil it's about 600 grams and it takes quite a bit of space in my school bag so I wouldn't carry it around with me that often and I'll bring it to school only time days. As a result, I bought my Kindle Paperwhite 4 and I've absolutely been loving it. It has solved all of these issues and it's also augmented my reading experience and I've gained a lot of value from it. In terms of a reading experience with the Kindle Paperwhite 4, it's an absolute joy to use. The 6 inch E ink display is great for reading with. As it's an E ink display, it is black and white and doesn't emit blue light so you can read with it for a very long period of time without feeling eye fatigue, strain and not affecting your sleep which is really great as I like to read before I go to bed and it feels like you're reading on paper. The 300 ppi display enables the text to be sharp and crisp unlike the display on the cheaper budget Kindle which I don't recommend. I actually think that the reading experience on the Kindle is far superior to reading on an iPad and even books and here's why. The Kindle adds so many more features which really augment your reading experience. One of my favorite features on the Kindle is its ability to change the formatting of a book so you can change font font size, the boldness, the spacing, the margins, and even the orientation. There's also dark mode. So there's so much customizability in terms of your reading and you can customize the book to how you like to read, which is great for someone like me who has trouble reading normal books just because the font's a bit small or for someone who finds it hard to read with some specific fonts in books. So because of this, I've been able to read quite a bit faster and have better comprehension. Another cool feature with reading with a Kindle, which has really added a lot of value to my life is the built in dictionary. You just press on a word which you don't know and it will give a definition of it which is really cool. Not only that but there's a built in vocabulary builder which has all of these words which you searched up for the definitions as flashcards to help build your vocabulary which is really valuable and a really useful tool and it's been able to build my vocabulary up with new words. I also really like the note taking experience with reading with a Kindle. Although it is a bit slower and has more friction compared to other devices or reading with a book because it does 
does have a bit of a delay and the keyboard isn't the nicest to write with. It is very convenient to export all of your notes to a convenient place through services which facilitate this. You can also access all of your notes on your other devices like your iPad, phone or laptop if you purchase your books through Amazon which is pretty useful and very convenient. The Kindle delivers a great reading experience through its lack of capabilities. There are no games on it, there are no other apps on it, you can't browse Reddit with it, you can't browse Instagram with it. So it's a device designed just for reading and I really like that about it because I can't get distracted and instead I focus on the book which I'm reading and I can have far better focus and comprehension compared to reading with my iPad. The new Kindle Paperwhite 4 also comes with audible support so you can listen to audio books when you're on your commute or maybe in the gym or preoccupied with other stuff. In terms of the friction of reading, the Kindle has really reduced the friction of reading because it's so small, light and portable. At only 183 grams and about the size of a typical paperback book but being a lot thinner, it is the ideal book size. I can hold it in my hand for hours on end and it has thousands of books just in the palm of your hand which is a real game changer. I can bring it around anywhere that I go. I like on my commute, in my side bag, it's very portable and if you can carry your phone around with you, you can carry your Kindle around with you although it would not fit in your pocket. But because of this I've been able to read a lot more books, I've been able to replace time which I'd spend on social media, browsing social media, browsing reddit and just wasting time with reading which has been a real game changer in my life and has added a lot of value for me. So the Kindle has pretty much eliminated all the friction of reading and it's a lot easier to just grab a book out on the go. So now I read about an hour a day so I can read on my commute. The Kindle also reduces the friction of the buying experience of books. Instead of having to go to a library or going to a bookstore to obtain a book which might not be there, you can get pretty much any book on earth on the Amazon store which you can download instantly and access it which is really convenient. Also buying books off the Kindle store is often a lot cheaper than buying normal books and the books are often on heavy discounts so the Kindle will save you money in the long run. You can also get books from online libraries off the internet for free and you can use this application called Calibre to convert your books into the Amazon book format and then put it onto your Kindle through your computer which is really really useful and has saved me a lot of money. Through the Kindle reducing the friction of reading being such a small, light and portable device, in addition to all of its useful features which have really benefited my reading experience, I thoroughly recommend the Kindle to anyone who enjoys reading or is looking to get into reading and it will allow you to read a lot more and I think it will provide a lot of value to your life. Thank you for watching. If you like what you see, please comment, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!